Hey yo, what up, it's Don. Same thing here. We are the Soul Brothers. Good to see you guys. Welcome to NBC's hit series, Does It Basketball? Does it, does, does it basketball? Did it basketball? Will it basketball? We're here to let you know. And if you happen to cop the Alpha Bounce and you're wondering, can I ball in these? We're gonna let you know. Exactly. So let's hop in on it. So the traction pattern is just circles. Just a, just a dot pattern. And there uh, are more circles inside the circles. Uh huh. Yeah, there's yeah, circles within the circles. Exactly. So it's like a track pattern inside the circles. Yeah. And it's a, it's, it's a hard rubber and it's, it's not super thick. But the traction on the wood floor is super nice, right? Wow. Uh, you stick really well. <clears throat> but then um, Adidas got this right on the wood floor. I don't know how, <clears throat> but this freaking traction works That's and dope. stick to the floor. And uh, uh, reviewing it um, on like a basketball traction standard, I give it like a 7 or 8. Ooh. It's pretty fucking good. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. And even if there's dust, it, you still uh, stick pr pretty damn well. I know it's not the traction pattern, so that must be a good rubber compound. Yep. That must be a good grip on exactly. it. Exactly. So freaking Adidas just use this rubber uh, compound. Yeah. You know what, I'm saying? what are you guys doing? And Nike. And Nike. Okay, so moving on to the midsole, uh, you have full length bounce. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's freaking nice. It feels like the D Lillards, right? It's really, really bouncy in the heel. You get a good amount of uh, impact protection. Uh, you have a lot of responsiveness in the forefoot area. So yeah, it's basically like D Lillards and it feels really nice. Right. And you, know, you get um, what, all the good things in the yeah. cushion that you, can, uh, you, sh that you should have. Yeah. Okay. Now this upper is pretty interesting. So the upper is very interesting. Uh, I just, I wish this was a basketball. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I I like, I can weird. actually play ball in these. You can. You know, like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that in the overview, but the the, the freaking uh, forged mesh upper is very soft, very nice. Mm -hmm. It feels so the sexy time for your feet, you know. Oh my uh, every time you take a step, it's very nice. Yeah. Um, it does, um, okay, so, and then also, if you guys can see where the uh, kind of wrinkles are, Right, it's yeah. where where it's forged. That actually allows the um, material not to stretch uh, where your foot or where the material shouldn't stretch right. as much. You know, right. so that's good. And uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with this one booty upper. That's cool. That's a one booty upper, but you still like have a tongue. Yep. kind of, which is cool. So Adidas did this right. Nike yeah, does dope. not do one booty upper. This is really cool. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Okay. Now moving on to um, fit. So fit, it does run really, uh, really long. So if you go, can, go down half a size, maybe even a full size, but probably just half a size. Mm -hmm. And also it does fit super narrow. When, uh, when I did get it, it actually was uh, kind of uh, irritating me because it was mm -hmm. really narrow. But after a few days of wearing it, it started to stretch and it actually uh, conforms to my foot and it feels like the fit is like exactly where my foot is. Yeah. You know, so it's a really nice fit. <clears throat> And um, yeah, the fit is amazing. You went true to size? Uh, no, half a size down. Half a size down. Half a size down. Right. Okay, now moving on to uh, support. Support is very nice um, besides in the, the this area. Right. All right so uh, since the traction is so good, when I, if you guys can see from this traction test or whatever, um, my foot uh, comes out of the footbed a lot, right? Right, because uh, there's not as much support because this is a running shoe. Yeah. But if if they uh, put some support, like maybe like carbon fiber or like put this uh, bounce midsole up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and added some support right there. This would be a gnarly ass freaking basketball. Or even just like a little overlay, like a little synthetic yeah, overlay or something, some, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know, it would be fucking nice. But other than, uh, so that's basically the only problem with support but other than that it's a very supportive shoe yeah even though you don't really need support for running yeah, yeah but basketball shoe might you need support for basketball yeah definitely sure. okay you do have this like kind of heel counter thing right? yeah that's cool okay uh, moving on to lockdown lockdown there's no heel slippage there's no moving in the forefoot unless you're doing cuts and stuff and your your foot yeah. slides out of the footbed yeah but other than that, it's a Betty Betty nice. So the sexy time. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to ventilation. Ventilation uh, is actually pretty nice. It's not the cool issue, but it's also not the hot issue. So you can't go wrong there. Right. 
Moving on to aesthetics, um, I only like this colorway. You only like it? Yeah. I don't really like the... the if you see the other colorways... Yeah, I feel colorways, like everyone likes this one. I yeah. think like, this sold out. Yeah. But you can get the other ones. Yeah, exactly. So the other colorways, I don't think um, look that good. In I think it would opinion. be dope if they did some in like a, a just like solid colors. Yeah. You know, like exactly. all blue, all black, mm -hmm. all yellow, <laughs> all black, all yeah. black. Adidas, come on, man. Maybe like an all black. Well, you can get the black pair and then you can black it out. I could. I but... think you can. This is a pretty oh, easy yeah. to like paint, right? Yeah. I would think so. Maybe, anyway, maybe I will. <laughs> anyway, I always black my stuff out and then they release the blackout. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, but, but I don't think they're gonna do a blackout with these. So as far as basketball, I mean, these seem to be pretty decent. They're fucked. Okay, if it if it didn't have this uh, problem right here, yeah, I I would uh, I would definitely play basketball in these wow. like as much as I can because it's freaking nice. Um, I don't know why basketball shoes don't never have like a nice ass fit like this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The material is just so like. Uh, right over your toes, it feels yeah. super snug and it just feels like an extension of the foot. Yeah, just keep it real soft right here. Yeah, and then just like really put some uh, support exactly. on the sides. Exactly. Because you're really not putting too much stress up on the top of your footbed, you know, on and the top of your toe. Maybe put like a uh, an outrigger a little bit more out, so yeah. you have a little bit more stability, and also in the heel, so uh, you're not more prone and to. And then like, like some rolling wings. ankle. Some and then like some wings, wings yeah, like right here. So when you jump, when you're dunking, you know, yeah. you start catching some air. Yeah. So um, for for me, um, I couldn't really play in these that much because I do a lot of cuts. I do a lot of crossovers. So um, it kept coming out. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, if it didn't have that problem, these would be an amazing shoe. Well, then these do basketball. They do basketball. The Alpha Bounce does basketball. You heard it here. We wouldn't lie to you guys. If you guys want to cop the shoe, there's a link below in the description. Um, we'll be back ASAP with another video. My name is Don. Family here. We are the Soul Brothers. Later. Peace.